Hi everybody, my name is Taylor Green. I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. Uh, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the other audiologist here at Audiology Associates. So two of my patients in this one today. Um, yeah, very hairy ear canal, this one. Mm. Um, not really causing too much of an issue as far as hearing is concerned because it was a nice big gap above that wax. Uh, but it's coming away really nicely here with a standard size ulna tube. Yeah, it's the view a lot of the time, which is very tricky with these like more dense yeah. uh, when you when you see a lot of thick hair inside the ear. It is a thicker hair, isn't it? That's, yeah. that's a, the real kind of pain. But luckily, the patient, I think, had oiled this quite well, so it had come away really, really nicely. Um, let's just get this last couple of pieces. You can see these kind of longer pieces further oh, back there. Yeah. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for the second ear canal. I think we had a quick look before we started the video, and I think there's quite a big old plug in the second ear canal, so make sure you stay tuned for that one. Um, but it's coming away very, very well. Mm. Eardrum looks good. Yeah. Nice and healthy. Nice and clear. Yeah, as you can oh, see, there's sort of, there you can see going off into the distance there, yeah. that uh, that piece of wax. Now, you had one of these the other day, didn't you? But it was quite long, and it was trying to negotiate that first bend. Yeah, and it was just breaking away in little pieces. <laughs> it's not, well, big pieces. But... Yeah, you never know what you're going to get. So you don't know whether no. it's going to be brittle or, or you know whether it's going to stay together. And chances are it'll be more dry or hard deeper into the yeah. ear, because the oil, if it's really blocked up, the oil won't really get that far. So you'll have a softer section at the front and then a harder section at the back usually. So I've negotiated the first bend, but it's still intact. So now I've got to negotiate the second bend. So I'm just shifting position with the endoscope. You can see just how thick those hairs are there mm. at the entrance to the canal. So just trying to bend it almost back on itself now to get this out. But have a look oh. at this when it comes away. Struggling to get it past oh. that other bend. Here it comes, yep. here it comes. I did try and kind of flick it on the side so you could see. Look how long that is. Oh. That's, <laughs> that's a beastie. <laughs> looks like a uh, like a sausage. It does look like it's like a <laughs> wax sausage. That's the title of this video. Wax sausage. Wax sausage. That's going to have to go into the title of the video. A uh, little bit of carrot at the base of the canals mixed with some wax here. So I'm just put, peeling it off with a fine end. Yeah, nice little... Nice little tap. <laughs> Just nego trying to negotiate those hairs we are at the entrance there, trying to get them out. There we go. There's still one. little bits left. There. Yeah, it's surprising. There's that one little dark section there, and there's another section. So I'm going to go quite low and see if I can take them both at the same time. Surprising how quickly this can build up for some patients, though. I mean, there are a few patients that we do see on a regular basis, sort of once every uh, or twice a year, like yeah. once every six months. Um, and we usually see like kind of this every time they come in. It's, yeah. it's uh, really surprising how quickly it can build up. We do, I mean, we say all the time, because a lot of people in the comments think this is, you know, it's, it's dirty, it's, you know, mm. it's, it's personal hygiene, you don't wash your ears enough. It really, guys, has nothing to do with that. It's all down to your genetics as to how much and what type of, of wax you produce as well, so. <laughs> He's a chunk, isn't he? Look at that one. This is about a two centimetre plug. That is a two uh, inch and a half altogether, that one. Cool. Uh, was it three and a half centimetres? Three and a half centimetres, yeah. Oof. So, yeah, that is a massive plug when I came that's out. A, that's a beast, that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, we got this really dry uh, wax of mine again, this one now. You can see I've popped a little bit more. You see the colour difference there from the first shot to this one? Yeah. Just popped a bit of oil in. I'm just here to observe on this one. This you is are, this one's all, all me. I know, I've got to all talk about this one. Look oh, at that peeling away. Yeah, you can see the ear canal is starting to show itself underneath this wax. Always a good sign. At that layer of keratin under there, you just got a grip mm. on that and a whole layer peeled off. I, that's not the whole thing, obviously. That's, that's going to break away. Yeah. Yeah, either that or you're going to get a, that kind of ribbon effect with blocks all the way down it. Yeah, it's going to start pulling it forwards. Yeah, there you go. Difficult now, they're trying to get the angle to get a good suction grip. Yeah, that's the thing. You, you, you're changing kind of position yeah. to hit that wax at the at the right angle. Oh, same yeah, thing again. It's cleaved yeah, off again, isn't it? Really holding on that bit. Yeah, it doesn't want to come away easily. It really doesn't want to come away easily. 
I'm not too sure. I think, hang on, I think this might be, I think the reason it's hold on tightly, I think this is a mastoid patient. Ah, okay. Um, when we take this away, you'll see the cavity. I'm pretty sure this is one you'll see the cavity. Now, this gent came through six months ago. And we've always got to be really cautious with this gent when we suction because he's really, really prone to getting um, the caloric effect, which is basically where you feel really giddy when, um, when you have wax removed. And it's to do with temperature in the ear canal. Um, so he really suffers badly with it. So he, he does feel really giddy almost instantly as soon as you put the suction tube in mm -hmm. there. Um, but obviously you want to keep this as clear as you can. So obviously with the cat with the, the, the cavity there, you don't want that wax forming and hardening in the cavity. No, it's very, very sensitive as well. Oh, it's coming away nicely. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. We'll have a good old look now at the next mm. section. There you go, you can see that cavity there. We will show you it in a second, you'll have a good look around it in a minute. But we've just got this kind of thicker wax debris here right at the entrance to the canal, so I'm just taking those your, bits. Up to your left. Yeah. There you go. Well, we saw him um, oh, a few I saw him a few months ago. You can really see that cavity going up. Oh, look yeah. at that, going all the way along there, Oof. and that little shelf there. But yeah, fair size mastoid cavity, that one. Mm. But just tidying up the outside edge here. Now with this patient, I'm constantly reassuring and checking in with them, making sure they feel okay yeah. and they're not feeling giddy. If they did, what we would do is just stop what we're doing just for a little, about oh, 30 seconds to a couple of minutes sometimes, yeah. let that settle and then we'll carry on and get the rest out. Now, I don't think there's a cavity on this side. I no, think it's I just the one. You'd, you'd normally find if it does happen, the. The, the sort of giddiness that the, um, the patient might get. You give them a couple of minutes and it's usually, or oh, I've found in the past, it's usually fine afterwards. Yeah. You don't normally get it no. after that's kind of passed. No. But we had to do quite a thorough clean out because he had been going to a different clinic um, up until his last visit. And uh, we had to do a really thorough clean out because they kept saying that there was a piece they couldn't get out, right. which was in that cavity, but it was a, it was a really dense piece of skin, yeah. uh, which I really didn't want to leave there. So I took it out for him. And he did experience a little bit of giddiness when I took that out for him. So, um, but he was a lot better this time when he came through. Oh, good. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Starting to draw forwards. That much kind of thicker plug now, breaking down at that uh, that back end of the, mm. the, the the canal there, so the osseous portion of the canal. Still quite dry there, you can see. He didn't have this ear cleaned out last time. Um, so I think it's been about 12 months since this one's been done. He didn't really need it. It wasn't too bad when we saw him six months ago, but... Uh, it's built up quite a bit. Too, it's built it? up a fair old amount, mm. yeah, in that six-month period, yeah. I think there's another <sighs> section just broke away again, then, yeah. I think. Yeah, there you go. Gosh, <laughs> that's built up quite quickly. Quite deep, isn't it? Look at that. It's really deep. It's oh, I was going to say, I was. You, you're just kind of hoping with these ones that it's not going to be wet. Yeah. Because that usually starts happening. It just comes away a little tiny bit. So you're hoping the whole thing kind of lifts. Yeah. You really want to see that whole section pull forwards. Oh, just like that. There we go. It's always a big relief when you see the whole thing oh, I know. jumping up. It's when, you, when it breaks off and you get that little bit that's still wedged down you're like, ah. Oh. You're putting big bends on the fine end oh. to try and get down into it, yes. Sorry guys, the battery on our camera ran out as we were recording that bit, so we might have changed position slightly, but we just managed to get at the entrance of the canal. It's almost out. Typical happened right at the end it of the It did, we had about, about 30 <laughs> seconds of video left to voice ah. over and it just died. Um, there we go, so just cleared all that out. The eardrum looks nice and healthy though. No, like we said, no cavity on this side, but a fair old amount came out of both sides there. So uh, inch and a half, I'm gonna go with that. Well, actually a bit more, inch and three quarters, just under. Oh, four and a half centimeters, eh? That's a fair that's old a, amount, isn't it? That's a good amount. <laughs> well guys, thanks very much for watching our video again today. We shall see you tomorrow for day 18, 18. of Waxman. Yeah. Forgot that, eh? Uh, so we'll see you then. But as always, guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of your ears. And take care of one another. And we'll see you again real soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.